fast-paced, electrifying, boom. There are so many elements that make up a great motion graphic edit. So if you're ready to start creating the best motion graphics, in just a few moments, you'll be able to create any type of motion promo and opener with these few tips. So if you're ready to upgrade your powers, let's get started. All right, we're going to create this one master promo. However, I'll also be breaking down these other edits at the same time to contribute more ideas. Just make sure your boss changes your job title to master motion designer after this video. When building a beautiful project, the first step is to solely focus on layout. So grab some coffee and don't panic. Start with the information that you have. So drop in any text that you may have and you know, get it all typed up into separate text layers for each set of information. Uh, I'm going to be using the fonts Anton and Barlow Condensed, which are free fonts from Google. And a good rule of thumb that I follow is make your important text large and then make your extra copy a little smaller. As a result, this will create hierarchy. Now that the text is punched in, the next step is the background. I would create a quick saw layer of any color that is somewhat opposite of your text. And to help with the background design, create a really small circle with the ellipse tool. And inside of that shape layer, we can add a repeater to quickly duplicate the circle. All we need to do is increase the copies and adjust the repeater position to offset the circles. Then we can duplicate the repeater and adjust the position again to create a full screen of circles. Easy. And you can change the color to help blend with the background. So hopefully now the ideas are starting to flow because you have your text and your background set up. Hopefully you're feeling good. But for instance, we can add in some additional shapes using the shape tools, or in this case, I'll just draw out a custom shape with the pen tool. And since I'm going for a rugged style, I'm gonna go ahead and add wiggle paths to this. This is a very easy effect to use as you only need to adjust the size. I would set the points to smooth. And for this, I'll set the wiggles per second to be something low. In addition, we can also apply the rough and edges effect from stylize and set the complexity to 10. Looks good. So we can duplicate this layer and move it elsewhere in the project. So this was just a unique element to help add detail into our project. So think about how you can create simple, unique elements to add a little extra detail to your project. So next up, we need to talk about adding video or photos into your promo. But if you're looking to save time on all your opener and slideshow projects, we have fully built 300 customizable promo slides that can be arranged in any order. So for example, you can browse and preview a promo slide that you want for your project, and then you can update it with your text and content and then it will be easy to integrate with other promo slides. If you want to produce really cool long and short form promos, be sure to check our Slideshow Builder packs in the description below and also be sure to get our free pack. All right, before we bring in any video, I recommend drawing out a shape of the size you want your video to be. So when we drop in our video, I can set the track mat of the video or photo to the shape underneath. Beautiful. Be sure to scale and reposition your photo or video to make this perfect, like the girl or boy that got away. I think we should also copy and paste the wiggle paths and the rough and edge effect to the shape that our video is matted to to help you know keep that style consistent. And to help this image pop out from the background a little more, let's go ahead and duplicate the original shape here that we created, turn it back on, and increase the size so then we can get this nice separation. You know, you can do what you want, but media that takes a unique size and also contains some elements of your overall design will give you that promotion for sure. Uh, you know, they don't let me get out much. All right, so we have the fundamental setup, but this still feels like it's missing something. So to fill the hole in your heart, you can employ a tactic called filler text uh, to be used as a creative element. So I'll keep these somewhat behind the video so they don't draw unnecessary attention. However, the text should still be related to your overall message. Uh, and this would be a good time to also create some boxes with a rectangle tool to highlight specific words. And I'll set those boxes to be the primary color so they can help make our scene pop. As you can see, it's easy. Now, if you're wanting to push the design even more, you can bring in some external graphics. I have this image of plastic, which is also included in the project. I'll go ahead and just drop this right here and you know, perfect, pretty simple. Okay, so we're basically done. The layout looks great. The graphics are ready, but we have no animation. So first, let me show you this awesome hack to open a slide or a promo. Just create a new solid layer and place it on top of your project like so. Then go to scale, break the chain and animate the Y value from zero to 100% to create this opening. 
Then set the blend mode to stencil alpha and boom. A blend mode that I never thought I'd use. Pretty cool though. All right, now we need to talk about animation. Don't overthink it. For some elements, I would just animate the position to slide the graphic in and for other graphics, perhaps just animate the scale uh, to pop it in like so. But for my personal style, I always select any keyframes that I create, make them easy ease by hitting F9. Then I go to the graph editor and smooth them all the way out, kind of like this. I literally do this for just about everything because I just love how this animation pops. To animate your video, I would just parent the video content, the outline uh, to one of the layers. This way you only have to animate that one layer instead of everything. And for the text, I would always use the animate properties. You can add a position, you know, slide it over by a touch and then go back and add an opacity and set it to zero. Then you can animate the range selector from zero to 100%. And then you can copy and paste this animator to your other text layers to keep the animation consistent. And for text that have boxes, I would simply control double click the pan behind tool to make sure those anchor points are centered. And I would animate the scale by breaking the chain here and simply animate the X scale from zero to 100% and then set the track mat of your title layer to that box and turn the box back on. But I'll go ahead and be jumping ahead here, but when you're done, you should be able to offset your layers in time so your animation can be varied. Anyway, with the reveal technique, you can easily connect different slides together and continue to duplicate your work to build your master project. And that's also how all the templates work in our slideshow builder packs. So please be sure to check that out below if you wanna save some time. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.